This is a video on V-Linch compression sutures. The learning objective is to be skilled in performing V-Linch compression sutures. Firstly, absorbable sutures are used and we must remember to exteriorize the uterus from the abdominal cavity. There are eight steps in performing B Lynch compression suture. Step one, insert the needle three centimeter from the lower uterine edge. Step two, thread the needle three centimeters from the upper uterine edge about 4 cm from the lateral edge of the uterus. Step 3. Pass the suture over the fundus of the uterus to the back. And step 4. This is an important step which is often incorrectly performed. The correct technique is to re-enter the uterine cavity. The next step is to re-enter the uterine ca cavity from anterior to posterior within the caesarean section wound and exit the uterine cavity posteriorly in the lower segment. Step 7. Pass the suture over the fundus and Again, thread through the upper part of the caesarean section wound, 3 cm above. And 3 cm below. The final step is to approximate both suture ends and secure with a double knot while the assistant compresses the uterus from the fundus while you tie the suture together. Replace the uterus and reassess the hemodynamic status. Make sure that the posterior is compressed adequately. After the, the procedure, reassess the patient and ensure that it is an adequate procedure to arrest postpartum hemorrhage. B Lynch compression suture is an effective surgical technique for a tonic uterus which reduces the need for hysterectomy.